stainless steel crown. Why do we use them for baby teeth? I'm Dr. Olga Dolger I'm here at Palm Valley Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. I am a board certified pediatric dentist and laser dentist. So common question we get is why does my kid need stainless steel crown? Why can it be white crown? Why do you need the crown? He has a baby tooth. Why do we need a crown? Well, let's talk about indications. Number one indication for stainless steel crown is multi-surface decay. If your kid has a cavity not on one spot, on two, three, four, five, or around the tooth decalcification, they need stainless steel crown. It's really durable in restoration. Number two, if your child is high risk for decay. If we already fix Johnny's five cavities, and now Johnny getting additional five cavities, we're not gonna patch, we're not gonna do additional small fillings everywhere. We're most likely gonna place stainless steel crowns in the back because that's predictable. My job as a pediatric dentist to do one treatment per tooth per life of that tooth. I don't want to go back. I don't want to put Johnny under 10 times under general anesthesia to do another filling, another crown. We want predictable results. A stainless steel crowns required minimum tooth reduction. Nowadays, we do whole crown technique. What it means, it means sometimes we put separators, like we had a kid who actually had cardiac condition. He was on the list for heart transplant and we had to put crowns on his teeth, on two of his teeth which, with large cavities. We could not inject him with injection. We could not put him under because of the heart condition. So we did that technique. It's non-invasive dentistry. So what do we do? We actually put orthodontical elastic or separators between his teeth, let him go home. We brought him back a week later. And then guess what? The crowns just snap on. We put the glue on and snap the crowns on, done. It's non-invasive technique. Very cool technique, it's a new one. That's another indication for stainless steel crown. Also stainless steel crown been around the longest as one of the long lasting restorations. I get a lot of questions with moms who are very aware about different type of metals, heavy metals. Stainless steel crowns don't have mercury in them. It's not amalgam. We get these two things mixed up a lot because they are both looking stainless steel, but one is a filling with mercury, which I don't even carry in my practice. We don't have them, period. And another one is a durable, reliable restoration, which lasts for the life of the tooth. It's a stainless steel crown. What are disadvantages of a stainless steel crown? Number one complication is probably aesthetics. And not the kid. Kids are fine with aesthetics. Some kids are very proud of it. They say, I have an Iron Man tooth, mom, look and they, they, they don't care. They love that the tooth doesn't hurt. They feel comfortable. But parents sometimes are concerned about the silver tooth, the stigma. They probably feel guilty that they did not take care, good care of Johnny's teeth and now Johnny has four silver crowns. So don't feel that way because actually cavities or caries is number one childhood condition is actually more common than asthma nowadays. So stainless steel crown is a good, good, reliable restoration. Another disadvantage of stainless steel crown is probably cost. So sometimes it's more probably pricey than you're feeling. Now, it has to be an insurance plan and everything to look at. That's another probably disadvantage of stainless steel crowns. We use stainless steel crowns also for teeth who uh, already have problems and have weak enamel. Sometimes we actually place uh, stainless steel crowns on adult teeth because it's actually a very common condition nowadays. Those adult six-year-old molars coming in and they have hypomineralized or hypoplastic enamel. The tooth looks brown or yellow and no matter what it just looks different and that tooth actually have very sensitive microscopical tubules and it has more nerve ending microscopical nerve endings that regular tooth and as a result the kids don't eat on those teeth so we had the girl another day and she had a lot of tartar build up on that side because she couldn't bite on that side so she was chewing poor soul on the the other side which was normal and um, they're avoiding chewing and biting and creates a lot of other problems. So what we do, we use um, glass ionomer cement, which is a very durable cement that has fluoride in it. 
and seal the tubules of the teeth and put stainless steel crown on. That way those teeth are protected. I don't need to go back to those teeth ever again because it's done, it's sealed. For adult teeth, uh, we do it because we cannot put permanent crowns until child is done growing and their gingiva is receded and stable. Until then, we place stainless steel crowns. So share with me, does your kid have stainless steel crowns? If you like my videos, please give me likes and share this video with others. Comment on this information. I would like to know your opinion if your child has stainless steel crown or had problems with them. Thank you so much for watching.